It's the NBA on ESPN. I'm Stuart Scott bringing you the lowdown. The truth is going to show us how to make an impact in this one, and a lot of that's going to come down to his defense. Nobody loves creating turnovers and forcing steals like he does. You just know he's going to be a disruption out there the entire game. Sonics, Celtics, next. Welcome to today's exhibition matchup here at the Celtics Arena in Boston. The visiting Seattle Sonics will square off against the Celtics here on ESPN. Good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Fitzgerald. Here with Bill Walton. Michelle Tafoya will join us later. As we watch the team form up, Bill, which players do you have your eyes on? Well, basketball is definitely a team team, but you can't win it all without great players. Mark Blount is a very proficient center. His length gives him such a tremendous edge here. He's generally matched up against significantly shorter players, and obviously that's to his advantage. And on the other side is another guy who can certainly take over this game. Ray Allen is an extraordinarily talented shooting guard, an absolute gunner from long range. His three-point shot opens things up offensively for everybody. Thanks, Bill. Well, it's time for tip-off. Let's get underway. The Sonics get the tip, and we're underway. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Bob. I spoke with the Celtics head coach before the teams came out, and when I asked him about his game plan, he said, we're going to attack the rim and really use our athleticism to our advantage. It looks like they feel they can get the upper hand down low. We'll see what happens. Back to you. Thanks, Michelle. To LaFrance. Pass to Pierce. Dumps it down low. LaFrance. Connects. The inbound to Daniels. Dumps it to the middle, to the rim. Lay drops in the pretty layup. The name of the game is finishing off the play, Fitz. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. Lewis went way up to get the board. The pass to Allen. Throws it down. That's how you finish a play, Fitz. Go up with both hands and just throw it down, big man. Throw it down. The Celtics bring it up court, and they're trailing 6-2. to two. Skips it to LaFrance. Passes to Blount. The handoff to Pierce. Penetrate. Pulls the trigger. Penetrate. Way off. Defense yeah, knew not to lead him open for mid range, and they did a very good job of pressuring that shot. Allen. Seven on the shot clock. The skip pass to Lewis. Good. You'd think being off balance would have bothered him more on that jumper fit, but he had no problem whatsoever hitting that one. They bring it up court right around the three minute mark here in the first. Bounce pass to Welsh. Pass to LaFrance. The pass to Peyton for three. It falls. Normally, you throw a little pressure at the guy, and those don't ever go down. This time, he didn't wilt at all. They bring it up court, 240 left in the first. Backs in. Passes to Daniels. From 20 feet out. Gets nothing but net. Inbound pass. The Celtics bring it up court and they're down by five. Swings it from the friends.
skip pass to Peyton. Daniels, clean the glass inside. Passes to the baseline. To Daniels. Pass to Allen. Five on the shot clock. Dishes to Daniels. Nice pressure. Too long, and it was missed by Daniels. Antonio Daniels blew it, and he knows it after a miss like that. The only thing possible is to go and fall on your own sword. Take one for the team, please. Seven on the shot clock. For three. There's it. Nice bucket that time. Looking at it from another angle really lets you appreciate the athleticism of these NBA players. The Sonics advance it and they're in front. Ten to eight. The pass to Lewis. Passes to Allen. Skips it to Allen. Shoots. Nice rebound by the five-year Ben out of Pittsburgh. Here's the break. With the layup, graceful finish. Pass to Allen. With the hook shot. A little long, but it goes in. I'm not sure that's the shot they wanted, but hey, they'll take the bucket. They bring it up court. 43 seconds left in the first. Passes to the right side. The bounce pass to Welsh. The pass to Blount. Feeds it to the middle. Sails in. Automatic. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. You did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. The Sonics bring it up court, and we have a tie ball game. Backs down. Feeds it to Lewis. Lewis. Pierce yanks down the defensive rebound. Rashard Lewis went up strong in the lane, but with that defensive pressure, it was too tough a shot to make. Nice effort, though. To Blount. Dishes it inside. Pump fakes. Shoots it. Misses the buzzer beater. There's the horn, and we've got a tight one at the end of one, 12-12. France throws it in to start the second. Passes to Welsh. Takes a three. Radmanovic grabs the inside rebound. Yuri Welsh is better off taking that shot when he's wide open, Fitz. Otherwise, with his mediocre range, he doesn't have a chance. Fires the three, gets the bucket. Great, definitely a first-rate play. He was able to take control and get the best scoring opportunity he had available. The Celtics advance, and we have a three-point game. Pass to Welsh. To Pierce. Crosses it over. Lets it go from the wing. Yanked down inside by Radmanovic. Here's the break. The pass to Allen finishes with a soft touch. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense, Fitz. I don't care how that one looked. That was not an easy layup. They bring it up court. Coming up on the four-minute mark here in the second. The pass picked off by Potapico. Takes a step back. Steps back and fires. Sinks it. Pass to Pierce. Dishes to the middle. To end the run. Radmanovic hauls in his third rebound. Mark Blount got in close to the basket, but the defender stayed right with him, and he never got that good look that he needed. Shoots from the post. Cans the shot. Definitely some replay-worthy material on this one, Fitz. Watch how he really took advantage of the situation. 
Inbound pass to Payton. The Celtics advance it and they're down 21 to 12. Swings it to Pierce. The skip pass to Payton. Seven on the shot clock. From just inside the arc, nails it. I wouldn't say he's quite automatic from that range, but if he gets a little room, he can definitely drain it. The Sonics bring it up court, and they've connected on their last four shots from the inside. To Allen. Bounce pass to Radmanovic. Tries the spin move. Seven on the shot clock. The trade. Blocked out of the sky by Blunt. Hands it off to LaFrance. Tries to post him up. Let's it go from the left block. Lewis hauls it in. The pass to Lewis. Daniels. Can't get the bucket for 20. The defense did a very good job of staying right up on him, and his middling mid-range game just wasn't up to the test. Yes! Good-looking play here, Fitz. I like how he scored on this one. They bring it up court. A minute 55 left in the second. Passes to Radmanovic. Backs him down. Skips it to Allen. Welsh reeled it in. Pass to Welsh. Feeds it down low. Gives the up fake. Releases. To money from about 10 feet out. Bobby, remember the old sports center line? You can't stop him. You can only hope to contain him. That's how it is with Paul Pierce. He's going to get his points. He was fifth in the league in scoring a year ago at 23 points in outing. He's a guy that when he gets hot, he can drop 40 on you in a heartbeat. And that almost always spells disaster. It's a Pierce. Dumps it inside. Goes up. Drops in the pretty late. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. Daniels works it up court, and he's got seven assists. Passes to Allen. Swings it to Radmanovic. Looks to break his man down. Pulls up. Excellent move by the seven-year vet out of Elif Elsick High School in Texas. The Celtics work it up more. They're shooting 52% from the floor. Pass to Blount. The 10-footer can't capitalize. Paul Pierce got a terrific look there, and he'll hit that 99 times out of 100. It's that one time, though, that'll get you. The pass to Lewis. LaFrance reeled in the defensive board. To Welsh. Dishes it inside. Gives the up fake. The buzzer beater. No luck. And that concludes the first half. The score, 25 to 20. Now that we've got a little break in the action, why don't we take a look at the first half with our ESPN game track. Bill, take it away. Ray Allen is scoring with tremendous efficiency so far. It seems like every time he touches the ball, they come away with a bucket. He's been the key to their lead in the first half. Gary Payton has been going all out on the other side, and it's still so very close. You know he's going to come back ready to play in the second half. We'll see if they can take the lead here.
Thanks, Bill. Both teams have taken the floor. It's time for the second half. Friends inbounds it to start the second half. Michelle Tafoy has some extra info for us. Michelle? Thanks, Bob. During halftime, I had a moment to talk with the head coach of the Sonics. He said that while they've done enough to gain the lead, he still sees room for improvement. He wants his team to stay focused and, quote, not lose sight of the goal at hand. We'll see if they meet his expectations in the second half. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Michelle. They bring it up court. About four and a half minutes left here in the third. Pass to Welsh. Passes to LaFrance. The Sonics bring it up court and they're in front, 27 to 22. Skip pass to Radmanovic. Pass, far side. Lounce, hold down another rebound. That's four so far. Drives to the hole. James gathers up the rebound, but that's only his first of the game. With the crossover, Daniels gets the bucket. He doesn't have the best crossover in the game, but he decided to drive with it that time, and you know, it worked out for him perfectly. Nice play. Peyton heads up court, and he's got nine points. Swings it to Welsh. The pass to Peyton. Pump fakes, throws it up. Move Hauled in by Radmanovic. Gary Payton hand. can't be happy about that piss. They don't get much easier than that. Pass to Radmanovic. To James. The pass to Allen. Crosses it over. Top of the key. Bullseye. Payton advances it. He's shooting 40% from the floor. Pass to Welsh. To Payton. Crosses it over. Had his pass go out of bounds, and they'll give the ball up. He didn't make a crisp pass at all that time. Put some zip off it. It was off the mark, and the defense didn't even have to get a hand on that one. Just a horrible pass. They bring it up court. 2.49 left in the third. Passes to the left block. From the left block, gets the lane. The feed to Pierce, takes it up. There's the six rebound by Radmanovic. With the crossover, the pass to Daniels. You're gonna risk deflections and turnovers like that when you try to force a pass into a crowded lane. Can't cut the lead to single digits. Off the mark by Payton. The name of the game is finishing off the play. Fits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. And he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. Pass to Allen. Passes to Radmanovic. From deep. Gets it to fall. The inbound to Payton. The Celtics bring it up court. They're shooting 42% from the floor. The pass to McCarty. To Pierce. From the wing. Too much mustard on that one. Fitz, this third quarter has not been kind to them offensively. Pass to Allen. Swings it to Radmanovic. For three. On the money. Watching a real deal NBA player work to get his offense is always worth a replay or two. Good job. The Celtics advance it and they'll try to end the run. The pass to Welsh. Takes the three. Nice look by the 15-year veteran out of Oregon State. 
not to be outdone, they enter right back with a three of their own. The Sonics advance it. They're shooting 59% from beyond the arc. Passes to Allen. Pass to Radmanovich. Launches beyond the arc. There he is. The Celtics advance it and they're trailing 42 to 27. To McCarty. Pass to Blount. Tries to back down. Seven on the shot clock. Bounces it to McCarty. Six second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Lewis snatched it up. Pass to Allen. The pass to Radmanovich. Tries the spin move. From deep, it's in. Richard Lewis. Gives the up fake. From just inside the arc. Lounge reels in the offensive rebound. We've just finished the third quarter and it's a double digit game. The score, 45 to 27. Lewis throws it in to start the fourth quarter. Take two of them, the bounce pass to Allen. Passes to Radmanovich from downtown. Great D, great D. Blount scoops it up. The defense has got to be breathing a sigh of relief here. He doesn't miss many of those. McCarty was pummeled, and he'll have an opportunity to get the two points at the line. He can't sink the free throw. He misses them both. Radmanovich yanked down the rock inside. Swings it to Lewis. The skip pass to Allen. To Allen. Backs down. Five on the shot clock. From the corner. Blount goes way up to get that rebound. That leader's a tricky shot to knock down. It, it wasn't there for him that time. Passes to the baseline. The leader doesn't get enough under it. The fast break. To Allen. Pass to Daniels. The pass to Allen. Shoots from way back there. Clanks it off the front of the rim. They bring it up court. About three and a half minutes left here in the fourth. Skips it to Pierce. Pass to Welsh. Welsh. Nails it. I like the play in real time, Fitz, but I like it even better in replay. I love seeing all the hard work that goes into getting a bucket. Daniels brings it up court, and with an assist here, he'd have 10 assists on the game. To Lewis. Dumps it to Allen. Shoots from the post. Snatched in off the defensive glass by McCarty. I like his assertiveness there. That one didn't fall, but if you keep taking it up strong inside, good things are going to happen for you. Puts up the tray. Good. They bring it up court. 250 left in the game. Passes to the baseline. Fires. Richard nice dish Lewis. by Daniels. The Celtics bring it up court and they've hit their last two shots from deep. Passes to Pierce. Allen with the steal. It's one on one. To the rack. Bounces off the left rim and out. 
Antonio Daniels made the pretty crossover move there, but pretty doesn't put points on the board. You gotta make that shot. With the step back, steps back and shoots, nails it. Definitely a good play here. Let's see that one from a different angle. The Sonics work it up court, and they should try to use the whole shot clock here. The pass to Radmanovic. Pass to James. To Allen. Five on the shot clock. Shoots with the clock winding down. 18 points by the marksman out of UConn. You can just sense that that J was going in. They say the mid-range game is becoming a lost art in the NBA, but you couldn't tell it from watching that play. The Celtics score, but they're still back by double digits. Dumps it off. Passes to Lewis. Let's it go from the wing. Rashad Automatic. Lewis. Welsh flips it in for two. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. The Sonics work it up court, and they've hit their last two shots from the floor. The pass to Lewis. Pass to James. To Allen. Seven on the shot clock. Pump fakes. The tray. Book it. The lead is now 16. Ray Allen always has the green light from downtown. His tray, so true. The Celtics bring it up forward, and they bring their last five shots from the paint. Shoots, left block. Hey, what kind of shot? No good, and they continue to trail by double Let's figures. Clean the glass. Do you nice job. Passes to Lewis. The pass to Allen. Backs him down. From seven. No Watch good, but they still have a double-digit lead. Under a minute to go now. This game's all but over. Four-second differential between the shot and game clock. Skip pass to Welsh. Shoots it up. Cans the shot. It's always a good thing to see players making plays. He saw the opening, and he took it in to score the basket. Jacks up a triple. Hits the back iron, but gets the lucky bounce. There's the horn. That signifies the end of the game, and that'll do it. The Sonics beat the Celtics 57 to 40. Both teams gave it their all, Bill. You can say that again. The Sonics worked to get high percentage shots, and it paid off for them. They had a decided advantage in field goal percentage in this game, and that was the key to victory. Well, thanks. We also don't want to forget our player of the game. Lewis played great. He finishes with 23 points, six rebounds, and he's our ESPN player of the game. And that about wraps it up. For Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, I'm Bob Fitzgerald. Thanks for watching the NBA on ESPN.